Welcome back to another video guys, so we got some huge news. We got some huge news! Harley Davidson has launched their annual Enthusiast Collection out for us this year. Brand new color, different bikes, looks super, super, super cool. I really, I really like the color of this. I know I've been sending it back and forth to a few people. Some people like it, some people don't. I, I love it. I, I think it looks pretty cool. Now besides the uh, Enthusiast bikes, we also got a brand new icon bike for this year as well so we'll get into that towards the end we're going to talk about the enthusiast collection first so three bikes for the enthusiast collection we got the lowrider st which is my favorite i, I really love the way that tobacco that they're, they're calling the tobacco color i love the way that that brown goldish brownish color fades out with the red uh, outline, it's just it's super clean, especially in the black man. It just it looks really really nice. Now you're also gonna have the for all you big touring guys out there, that that bike looks really 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 nice. And last but not least, we got the Tri Glide with the enthusiast color as well. So for any of you guys out there looking for a Tri Glide, pretty awesome option right there. I'm surprised that they didn't kind of go with maybe one of the newer models with this color uh and when i say newer models i mean the new road glide street glide maybe they would have done the street glide the road glide and the low riders t um uh, but whatever now a little knowledge for those of you guys who don't know what the enthusiast collection is every year harley davidson's comes out with an enthusiast theme it's an ongoing motorcycle collection of harley davidson inspired by our community of passionate riders. The Enthusiast Motorcycle Collection celebrates the diversity of our community and the unique backgrounds and interests of the people within it. Launched annually, each series pays tribute to a subset of our broader community riders, available in limited quantities across a selection of models. Now, last year we had the uh, Fast Johnny Enthusiast Collection. Super sick paint job. I really like the way those bikes were executed. This year, we got the Tobacco Fade. You might be asking yourself, what is Tobacco Fade? Is, is this inspired by a cigar, tobacco leaves, whatever? Harley Davidson has inspired generations of musicians from every genre, and their songs have become our open road anthems. Crafted at the crossroads of motorcycles and music, the 2024 Tobacco Fade Enthusiast Collection features a paint scheme that mimics the warm finishes from rock and roll's most famous guitars. Now that's pretty cool. Like when you're, you're talking about paint jobs, ideas, and where they're getting these ideas from, they you know they're they're picking out of a little pocket here and there, and that's this this is really cool. You can kind of look into that paint and see where that warm feeling that they're talking about is coming from. Like e even when I opened the video talking about the paint, I was talking about how it fades from that brownish goldish color and then with that red outline it just is sick and just on the black canvas on these bikes it just it looks super nice now obviously out of these three bikes if i had to pick one you guys already know the answer it's gonna be the lowrider st for me it's beautiful bike it's my favorite bike on harley's lineup besides the road glide that that bike is just beautiful now let's talk about the icon revival a beautiful 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 classic looking bike so for those of you out there who are looking for a classic looking bike like this this is the bike for you this is the one you're gonna want now this bike is also gonna come limited to a thousand seven hundred and fifty worldwide so if you have one of these bikes a little special um number bikes always pretty cool to me i think uh when, when they're done in a very small quantity it, they're they're more special than obviously when they make a bunch of them um, but that, that's always a cool little factor. Calling this bike the Hydra Glide Revival. Um, taken back to the 50s on the Penhead era. Uh, it's first launched in 1949. So if you're looking for that type of era, if you're a Penhead fan, this is the type of bike you want with a obviously a modern twist. Because this is what Harley Davidson is doing now. Um, they're, they're bringing these icons and they're just bringing them to you in modern times with modern technology. I want that classic look, that classic feel, which in my opinion is pretty cool. I had made a video, I'm gonna say maybe three years ago, two to three years ago, and I, I think the title of that video was um, Harley Davidson should be like Ford and Chevy. And when I said that, I was explaining that 
the same way how Ford and Chevy bring back these classic looking models and they put them in uh, and they make them in a modern way. That's the same way Harley Davidson should be doing with, with, with their models. And we've been seeing for the past few years, I'm not saying that they did it because of me, but whatever. Uh, but we have been seeing for the past few years that they've been doing this. And I think it's, it's pretty cool, man. I think people at times, uh, you know, that there is a special customer that wants a, a nostalgic bike, a nostalgic look. Uh, maybe their their father had a certain type of bike and now this bike is brought into uh, current times and it reminds them of their uh, of, of a parent of a grandparent um, or, or just a super late memory man but it's, it's pretty cool that they're actually doing this now now a few little key things that I really like about this bike I do love the two-tone windshield in the front I love that look it, it looks really cool it, it just type of bike that you want to take out you want to hit the California coast look at the beach on, on, on the right side warm weather nice smell of whatever of nature it, it, that's the type of bike that i kind of you, you envision yourself riding or through an open desert on a hot sunny day you know it's like that you get that type of feeling just looking at that bike um the seats look really really awesome obviously a one up on this one uh i really like all the be the beading on it it looks really really nice this bike is essentially a heritage um just classier looking um, more special at that. This bike is also going to come with the 114 as well. So besides that, like I was saying before, it is pretty much a heritage. Um, but you're going to be paying two thousand, around two thousand dollars more for this one than getting a heritage. But you're getting a number bike. You're getting uh, uh, an icon revival bike, um, a special bike. You know, so there. This bike is for a certain customer, and this customer is out there. These bikes will sell out right away. Now, what do you guys think about all these bikes? Do you like the Enthusiast color for this year? Do you hate it? Uh, do you like the new Revival uh, for this year as well? I'm a, I'm a big fan of everything right now. Uh, the Lowrider ST will be my number one choice. And if I wanted a classic looking bike, and if I had the, 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 the money just to you know throw another bike in the garage as a third or fourth bike, I, I, would, I would go for, for that, that Revival. It's pretty nice. Comment below, let me know what you think. And if you want to see more updates, news like this, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends, let me know what they think about it. Drop your comments down below. Just an FYI, I will be in Daytona next week. So uh, I'm gonna be doing a follow-up video, letting you guys know what I'm gonna be doing down there. We're gonna be going down, riding some cool bikes, enjoying some Florida weather, getting away from this cold weather out here in Jersey. And, uh, and see what Daytona is all about. It's my first time going to the uh, Daytona Rally. I'm really, really, really excited for that. That's going to be it, man. Like always, let the force with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.